So it's a big day for the SKA project of course today uh, is basically the official start of the next phase of the SKA project, the SOT turning uh, by Science and uh, Technology Minister Bladen Zamandi. Of course uh, at the core site where we are already 64 uh, dishes that make up the meerkat that is the precursor to uh, the SKA uh, and that is already doing a lot of science. Uh, more than 100 dishes will be added uh, during this phase of the of the construction of the SKA. But let's talk to uh, Tracy Cheatham. She's of course the director of construction of the SKA MIT. Tracy, tell us um, what is going to happen now? Yeah, so what we're doing is, in fact, this is a huge milestone for the SK Observatory in that it's the commencement of all the on-site construction activities. So what we're going to be doing is constructing another 133 dishes. Um, and then that will be, uh, as you mentioned, we've got Meerkat, which is existing 64 dish array. And Meerkat will then incrementally be integrated into the SKA mid telescope. So at the end of the day, um, we will have 197 dishes operating for the mid telescope. So we've got the Meerkat, um, very exciting. Um, um, at the beginning or when it was launched, we already saw the clearest picture of the center of the universe um, that was ever taken. Um, it's been in operation for, for quite some time. I'm sure there's been a number of breakthroughs. Yes, indeed. Um, as you say, we've um, been mapping the center of the Milky Way. Um, there's the discovery of two new galaxies, which is extremely exciting for the scientists um, in South Africa, but across the world as well. Um, and there's also these intergalactic balloons that they've discovered um, hundreds of light years away. So it's really, you know, we've still got quite a few years in terms of meerkat science. And we're also looking forward to transformational science that's going to be produced from the SKA radio telescope as well. So um, the 64 telescopes that make up the Meerkat, uh, they are mostly concentrated on the score site. Um, the 133 that you're going to add, that is going to be a much greater area. That's Tell correct. us about that. Yeah. Yes, so we've got, um, we've got what we call the Meerkat core, which is really concentrated in a five kilometer diameter. Um, but we've also got the, the SKA core, which is co-located with the Meerkat core. So 90% of the, the dishes will be in that core area. But then we extend out to baselines of up to 150 kilometers. So we've got the core area and we've got three spiral arms extending to those long baselines of 150 kilometers. So what you'll find is dishes located on each of those spiral arms. So it's, from a geographic perspective, it's, it's, it's a huge spread. Yeah, 150 at some points. That's correct. So the longest baseline will be 150 kilometers. So your last dish on each spiral arm will be at 150 kilometers. Tell us about uh, the money involved. Do we have the, e enough funds to cover this next phase of, of the SKA project? Yes, so we've um, set up the intergovernment or the treaty organization, which is the SKA Observatory. And then we've got member countries that are signed up um, and are act actually members now of the observatory. And we've also got another eight accession members. So uh, funding is received from those member countries um, as, um, as a contribution to the treaty organization. There are core questions that the SKA needs to, to, to answer. Um, tell us about uh, some of those. So the exciting part is, um, as we know, the Big Bang was 13.8 billion years ago. So what we're going to be looking at is going back to 100 million years after the Big Bang. And we're looking at the, the formation of the first stars and galaxies. Um, and then the evolution of the universe um, from the cosmic dawn. And what the cosmic dawn is really when the universe changed from the dark to light. So we're really exploring that evolution of, of the universe for 13.7 billion years. Tracy, when, normally when we do a story around the SKA, the average South African normally asks, why should I care? Uh, why should the average South African care? Look, I think from a, from, from a South African perspective, it's a huge investment in terms of scientific infrastructure in South Africa. It's really the, the, the destination for, for astronomy at the moment in the, in the world. Um, so that, that's really exciting from a South African perspective. But there's also the, the contribution that we make to the global knowledge economy, which is very important from, from, from a South African perspective. We've also had hundreds of engineers participate in the program, um, a lot of them South Africans. And, you know, the other side of it is the human capital development um, programs that have been initiated, particularly from the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory, um, where we look at the, the pipeline of young engineers 
um, we've got the artisan training program and we want to create that pipeline so that um, young people even in the local communities in these four towns can be trained up and they can operate and maintain the telescope. Just a final question, Tracy. Um, we, you've spoken about the core questions that the SKA need to answer. I understand the Americans are quite interested in one specific one. <laughs> is, is there life out there? Correct. That is one of the science goals of, of the SKA, is to indeed find out if there is intelligent life out there. Do you think there is? I do believe there is. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Tracy Cheatham, she's the Director of Construction of the SKA Mid, of course. A very exciting day as uh, the SOT turning for, for, for the next phase of the SKA basically starts today. So a similar uh, event is taking place at the same time uh, in Australia, of course, uh, South Africa and Australia. Uh, of course partners uh, in hosting uh, the SKA. Uh, so a lot of excitement happening here, um, the, the very start of, of and I believe the dishes will be starting to be in, in installed uh, starting in 2023. Correct, That's, yeah, we'll start with the infrastructure and then the four, first four dishes um, will be installed um, in, the, in, the, in 2023. And about five years before everything is done? Correct, so we'll be completed with construction in 2028. Thank you very much again, uh, Tracy Cheatham, uh, just uh, tell it, chatting to us about the next phase of the SKA. It's back to the studio.